After signing Dario Sarf the other day, I made a video talking about how the Golden Agency Warriors are not done yet on the free agency market. Well, even though the big waves of free agents are gone, there are still a few very intriguing options left. And today, we actually just got some new reports coming out linking the Golden Agency Warriors to another free agent. If you've been watching the Warriors for a while now, you know this player because he actually played for us a while ago. And the guy I'm talking about today is Glenn Robinson III. Now, according to Blue Mountain Hoops' latest report, Golden State Warriors are expressing interest in Robinson. Also, in a recent report with Fieldhouse Files' Scott Agnes, his information also matches with an article from Blue Mountain Hoop quote here. Speaking with Fieldhouse file Scott Agnes, Robinson has revealed he's going through private workouts during Summer League in Las Vegas. According to the 7-year NBA veteran, teams like Boston, Milwaukee, and Golden State have expressed an interest. Now, after signing Dario Sarge adding more size, and with that one roster spot open, Glenn Robinson III really does sound like an intriguing option with his 6 foot 6 frame and versatility. In today's video, let's talk about whether signing Glenn Robinson III to fill out the final spot of the roster is a viable option. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Yo, what's up guys, Jason's here back with another video. If it's the first time watching, I mostly cover news and reports for the Golden State Warriors, but we also occasionally make content for every other team in the league. So if you want the latest basketball news or rumors on your feed, all you're gonna do is to leave a like and subscribe so that you won't miss any of a future upload. Now, Robinson played for the Warriors back in the first half of the 2019-2020 season, and with Golden State that year, Robinson had his career season where he was averaging 12.9 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 1.8 assists per game while shooting 40% from behind the arc. But then, before the trade deadline, Golden State moved him to the Sixers to save money from luxury tax. And when asked about his performance and role in Golden State, Robinson said this, quote, I did that and I had career numbers with the Warriors, he said. And I know people talk about how bad our team was, but for a guy to be able to play almost every game, which I did, to guard the best players and to continue to have my shooting percentage that I had with the Warriors was really a turning point for me as a player. Just from this alone, you can tell that Robinson really enjoyed his time with Golden State, so if the Warriors were to offer a better minimum contract, he would likely take it. Now, aside from that, let's talk about Robinson as a player. Right off the bat, Robinson is 6 foot 6, so he'll immediately fill in the depth at the forward position. In terms of strength, Robinson is a top tier athlete who plays with a lot of energy. At the same time, he's a very aggressive offensive player and can finish with both hands. He has a 6 foot 6 frame with a 6 foot 9 wingspan, and he's very good at running the floor and in transition, which is a great trade for this Warriors offense. And when he played for the Warriors, it's clear to see that he fits perfectly with this Warriors system. If it wasn't for cap saving purposes, Golden State wouldn't trade him in the first place. And plus, if you look at his career numbers in the league, Robinson is a very underrated shooter from behind the arc. Across his 9 seasons, Robinson is a career 37.3% 3 point shooter. Overall, you can see here that Robinson is a very good athlete with good defensive attributes and 3 point shooting. So his physical traits definitely fits with what the Warriors system wants. And with his previous run with Golden State, that further proves to us he will fit in with the Warriors system nicely. Now, in terms of weaknesses, there are indeed a few. Robinson isn't the best rebounder for his size, especially for defensive reboundings. And that was emphasized a lot in his scouting reports before the draft. Along with that, he isn't too good at creating his own shots. And oftentimes, that means he needs other players to initiate in the first place. And what that means is that sometimes he does tighten up a little bit and turn the ball over during some possessions when opponents begin applying more ball pressure on him. And that's definitely something to keep in mind. And one last issue with Robinson is his size. His 6 foot 6 frame means he is slightly smaller for the small forward position and sometimes he gets bullied by bigger forwards in the paint and near the perimeter. He certainly gives you a lot of energy and effort on the defensive end, but at the end of the day, size is something that you cannot teach. In general, I think Robinson's strength outweighs his weaknesses and Golden State could use him as a depth by Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Kaminga. And don't forget the fact that Robinson can also play some minutes at the shooting guard position. Now, the last time he played in the league was two years ago, so the risk is definitely there. The Warriors can certainly move on from him through a trade before the trade deadline, but he for sure adds some more limitations to the team. I've been mentioning guys like DeMarcus Cousins and Dwight Howard for a while now, which are obviously all centers. 
But what do you guys think about adding a guard forward to the team to fill in their last roster spot? Of course, there are positives and negatives that come with signing a center or a guy like Robinson, or perhaps somebody from the G League to find the final roster spot. So let's see what the front office decides to do. Alright guys, that's all we got for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you think Sunny Robinson is a good idea. Also, check out my community tab to cast in your vote as well. And if you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on social media with other links in the description box down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.